In this video, we're going to look at two different ways of putting the switch in the circuit. The one is the power side switch, and the other is the ground side switch. And if you notice on this picture, the same components are present in both circuits. They both have a fuse, they both have a switch, and they both have a bulb. The difference is in the power side switch, the load and the ground path are always there, and the switch is completing the power path. On the ground side switch, the power part of the circuit and the load are always there, and it's the ground side path that is being completed by the switch. Let's take a look at what the voltages would be at the different points in the circuit and see how they differ if we were diagnosing this type of circuit. So notice on the power side switch that you would have 12 volts all the way up until the actual tip of the switch is where you would have it. And the whole rest of the circuit, the bulb included, if you were measuring it when the circuit was off, you would have zero volts. And on the ground side switch, you would actually have 12 volts all the way down to the bulb and on the ground side of the bulb and all the way up to the tip of the switch, even when the circuit is off. So think how confusing that could be for somebody that doesn't understand this. Their headlights are off and they go out to the car and they measure 12 volts on both sides of the headlight while it's off. Now to you, you realize that that just means that there's a switch in the ground path that's not activated right now. But to them, they could be thinking many things, shorted headlight, wiring. When people don't know, they usually use the word short. And while a short can happen in some cases, it's most of the faults on cars are opens where something's disconnected. When something's shorted, it just means it has less resistance than it's supposed to. And while that does happen on occasion, it's just not what most of the faults are. Most of the faults are opens. So what we're going to do in the next video is we're going to look at the power side and the ground side switch in both the off position, and then I've redrawn the circuits in the next video so that they're both on as well. And I want to show you a way of highlighting the circuit using three colors, where if you did this and practiced it with several different circuits, it would help you get a really good understanding of the power, load, and ground side of the circuit and where you would expect to measure the 12 volts and the zero volts. So as we move into the next video, if you have a way of printing the schematics, which will be in the additional materials, additional resources, uh, I would recommend that you print them out and get yourself three color highlighters. The three colors that I'm going to use are orange, green, and yellow, but that's just my personal preference. You just need to identify which ones are gonna be the 12 volt color, which one's gonna be the zero volt color, and which one's gonna be the color that you use for the load when it's using up the voltage. So I'll see you in the next video, and hopefully you'll be able to highlight along with me, and we will get a deeper understanding of how these circuits operate.